The division between the Protestants and the Catholics was easily visible throughout communities in Northern Ireland. In programs like the Ulster Project, individuals like Father John hoped for a better tomorrow. As our class toured Belfast, we were accompanied by Father John, who's an executive member of the Ulster Project from Northern Ireland. In Northern Ireland, we would be troubled with many years by perceptions and bigotry, and people rely on what they're told. And that's the worst form of education, to believe something because somebody told you. Walking through communities in Northern Ireland, you see peace walls everywhere covered with barbed wire separating the Protestant and Catholic communities. Different patterns and colors indicate sides of the divide. Everywhere you would have seen the British flag, the Union Jack, that's beloved by Protestant people, loyalist people, people who want to be uh, connected with the United Kingdom, a part of Britain. You will have seen in the Republic areas the Irish flag. As a class, we became aware of the intense segregation due to objects like peace walls and flags. Even the name of this country, they couldn't even say it properly. Is it Northern Ireland? Is it the north of Ireland? Um, politically, that, that makes a big difference. Our class appreciated all the sights and everything Father John had to say as we toured throughout Belfast. The ironic thing is the wall that you were looking at today with all these positive things on it were generally written by visitors. They're not written by the Catholic or the Protestant people here. There are many positive collaborations happening in Northern Ireland communities, especially focused on the youth in the divided areas. A modern attitude and we're trying to move towards this, because you're different, you're interesting, I want to hear about you, and you have a right to have your differences. You would have seen an example today, and it happened a couple of times in the references. We saw a, a, a wall mural about it. Father John is optimistic about the future state of Northern Ireland, changes occurring throughout communities, and a class from Hanover was able to be a part of some of those moments.